I'm just genuinely so fed up and I'm so sick of it. I've said it so many times in previous videos. I'm sick and tired of everybody seemingly thinking it's okay to trash America, to spit on America, to dishonor America. I'm sick and tired of it. If you haven't seen this already, this is kind of breaking news here. It just kind of happened because the NCAA March Madness, we're going to the final four for men's and final eight here for women's. Um, I don't know how many people, you know, um, weigh or distribute their care for each of those brackets, but the LSU women's basketball team who was facing Iowa. Spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you what happened if you're trying to record this or you don't know what happened to the score. Decided to walk off the court right before the singing of the United States National Anthem. Check this out. That's Iowa. Wait for it. All gone. All the LSU women's basketball team completely gone. New rule. Okay, I'm going to pretend to be Bill Maher, even though I can't stand him. New rule. This should be a new rule. It should be mandated by law. If you dishonor, disrespect, and slight and not show anything but deference during the singing or reciting of the national anthem, anything other than what's appropriate, which is putting your hand over your heart, you don't even have to say the words. You don't have to say the words. I say the words. I kind of, you know, I say the words, but you don't have to. Take your hat off, put your hand over my heart. I tell my kids this. This is the rule in our house. Put your hand over your heart. If... You do anything but that, you should be fined. If you do what LSU did, which is completely walk out, which is not disrespecting, it's not defaming, it's a, you're literally spitting on America. You're trashing America. You take a knee like Colin, no good, worthless Kaepernick. Travis Kelsey taking a knee during the National Anthem. LeBron James, multi-billionaire LeBron James, who's taking advantage of every beautiful opportunity this country has given him. You take a knee or you... This is not a form of protest. It's over. We're abolishing. This is not a form of protest anymore. It's over. You get deported. You get fined if you're not paying attention. You know, I get it, you know, but you're, you're going to get a fine. You're going to get a fine. I think this should be a new rule. If you don't have your hand over your heart and you're not respecting and you're not solemnly paying attention, you don't have to sing the words, but you have to put your hand over your heart, take your hat off, and you have to give the appropriate respect. You get fined. But if you do what LSU did, which is walked off the court before the singing of it, you take a knee, you do oh, there's some sort of BS silly thing like that, you're gone, deported. You should be absolutely, I'm so sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of people trashing America. I'm sick and tired of people complaining that, oh my God, it's not fair. No, I'm going to protest. No. Where else are you going to live? Do you even realize LSU entitled Gen Z spoiled brat LSU Tiger basketball? I don't even know your names. I don't care about your name. I don't even want to know your names. I think I follow women's basketball anyway. I mean, I don't even follow it anyway, let alone, I, I don't even want to know your names. I'm not going to issue your names. I'm not going to give your names any uh, uh, free press at all. You should all be deported. Do you know what you're doing when you, maybe you don't realize this. I want to make this a teaching moment. Do you realize that when you do something like that, when you do something so blatantly disrespectful, what you are doing is you're sending a message to all of our fallen soldiers, all of the people who have fought, sacrificed, put their life on the line, jeopardized time with their family, 
taken themselves to the front line, put themselves on the line to defend the freedoms that we have in this amazing country. You're spitting directly in their face. It is the worst kind of desecration. It is the worst kind of disrespect. And we should not tolerate this crap anymore. This is not, this is, this way of protesting should be abolished. It's over. It should be mandated. I've said this many times. I think the Pledge of Allegiance should be in every single classroom. You should stand and respect and honor because what you're doing is, is you're saying thank you. And there's never enough thank yous. There isn't enough thank yous in the entire universe that you can bestow upon these amazing, brave men and women who have put themselves on the line so we can have these amazing freedoms, these amazing liberties that you can't find anywhere else on planet Earth. America, it's the greatest country ever in the history of mankind. You can come here with nothing. You can build a life. You can say what you want. You can do what you want. You can live anywhere you want. As long as you are following the laws, the freedoms and liberties that you have in this country, you won't find anywhere else. Maybe that would be a good find. Maybe instead of a permanent deportation, which I think that's still on the table. Let me know what you think in the comments in this nation. Maybe a really good form of punishment anytime you do something so blatantly disrespectful, which again, is akin and congruent with actually spitting in the face of all of those who have put their life on the line and sacrificed for these freedoms that we have. Maybe you should be forced to live in another country for 12 months. And then we'll see how fast you walk off that basketball court when the national anthem gets played. Show some respect. Don't act like a selfish, entitled, spoiled brat who takes all their freedoms for granted. Know your history. Know what came before you. Know who came before you. It's not about skin tone. It's not about race. It's about all of us in this together, building the greatest country for our kids, our grandkids, and beyond. There's no other country better than right here. I would love to hear what you guys think of this. This just got me so riled up. Nez Nation, because I'm just sick and tired of it. I, we need a renewed pride in the U.S. of A. We need a renewed vigor, a renewed conviction in being an American. What that means, what that responsibility that we owe, that that honor and that you know um, absolute civic pride and duty. It's a duty to be a citizen of this great country. It is an obligation. It is a privilege to be a citizen of this amazing country. Because the people that came before us, I mean, we're not just talking, you know, uh, service men and women. We're talking about our forefathers. We're talking about all of the people who defied tyranny so that we could have these freedoms. And that list is so long. And we do a grave injustice by dishonoring them. And it's such a little act. It's such a little thank you to just solemnly show your respect and honor those. The Iowa uh, uh, basketball team, they were all standing there hands in hand in hand. And by the way, I told you, spoiler alert, Iowa, karma really is a bitch. Iowa spanked their ass. LSU lost. What was the final score here? Let me let me find out what the final score was. Um, I know they got really, really spanked. It was 94 to 87 over the Tigers. Caitlin Clark scored 41 points. Karma truly is a gigantic bitch, isn't it? Get, you reap what you sow. I want to throw this over to you, Nez Nation. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts? Am I overreacting? Maybe I'm overreacting. I'm happy to be uh, wrong. I truly believe we should deport all these people. I mean, I'm, I'm very very convicted in that um you know i'm open to other suggestions but i just think i'm sick and tired of it i would love to hear your thoughts as always if you made it this far think about becoming an as nation insider it's our free newsletter it's in the pinned comment also in the show notes and the description just click on the link 
click on free newsletter, the option for free newsletter, put in your best email and you're in. That's it. It's your sure proof way of never missing out. Live updates, live streams, new videos you don't hear in mainstream media. Also, um, consider becoming a member. It costs about a cup of coffee um, a month to help us get our country back. The whole purpose of this channel is to share the things that are vastly important that state media, aka NBC, CBS, CNN, and so forth, they don't show the stuff that I talk about. So consider becoming a member. Um, you get first priority, like badges next to your name, live streams, um, first uh, priority in comments, shout outs, and a whole lot more. So I hope you'll consider becoming a member. Just click join down below. Don't forget to check out these videos I posted today. They are absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't seen these yet, check out these videos right here. They're phenomenal. Subscribe and follow. And as always, Nez Nation, God bless you. God bless your family, and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.